Black youngster reacts to Young Dolph's tragic death. U.S. rapper Young Dolph was shot and passed away in his hometown of Memphis on Wednesday, November 17th at the age of 36. As news of his death broke, many are asking questions about his feuds with fellow rappers Yo Gotti, Black Youngsta, and Soldier Boy. Black Youngsta, real name Sammy Marquez Benson, also a rapper, is signed with Yo Gotti's label Collective Music Group, CMG. He first gained Gotti's attention with the release of his breakout hit, Heavy, in 2015. Gotti then appeared on a remix of the song, This Is When Gotti Signed Youngsta to His Label. As Dolph and Gotti exchanged jabs, Youngsta took to Instagram to post a video threatening to smack the crap out of Dolph. On May 16, 2017, Youngsta surrendered himself to the police on charges related to the shooting of Dolph. Youngsta and his associates were alleged to have fired over 100 bullets into Dolph's SUV. Before we get into this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment keyword RIP Dolph for a chance at winning our giveaway. Now back to the video. Youngsta maintained his innocence before turning himself in. According to arrest records, he and his associates were each charged with six counts of discharging a weapon in an occupied dwelling or moving vehicle and felony conspiracy. But later in the month, these charges were dropped. Dolph said that the reason he survived the shooting was that his SUV was fitted with bulletproof panels. Youngsta would go on to release a song called Birthday, in which he references the shooting and alleges that Dolph had him framed. He raps, how are you gonna go and shoot your own truck up and play dead for the night, and then press charges on me and tell the police I did that. Now the feds say I'm a menace. This is for all the young, innocent. In the song, Youngsta also says, Adolph Thornton, Dolph's real name, wanna see me dead and gone. In an interview after the shooting, Dolph said that he had no clue as to who shot at him. Dolph famously had a feud with fellow Memphis rapper Yo Gotti following the release of his debut album called King of Memphis, a title that Gotti reportedly used to refer to himself. In 2016, Dolph hinted that Gotti wasn't a fan, tweeting, Bra went from being my number one fan and wanting to sign me to being my biggest hater. Dolph claimed that Gotti had wanted to sign him to his label, but Dolph turned him down. The pair would take hits at each other in interviews, and they eventually released diss tracks against the other. In February 2017, Dolph dropped a diss track against Gotti called Play With Yo Girl. Two weeks later, Dolph released a video for the track featuring a Gotti lookalike. The next day, his SUV was targeted with gunfire. Later that year, Dolph was shot outside of a Lowe's Hollywood hotel in LA, where Gotti's entourage was staying. Corey McClendon, 43, was arrested near the location of the shooting, but was later released. Gotti and McClendon have a past together, as in 2010, the pair turned themselves into police after a shooting occurred in a Memphis club car park following an argument between Gotti and OG Boo Dirty, another local rapper. Obviously, we can tell these rappers' beef was not a joke. One thing we learned about the OGs of the game is that they are really about what they speak versus the new generation is what it seems like all talk and not about that action. We've seen time and time again all these guys will hop on IG Live, start talking all the smack in the world, and if they ever see each other in public, they won't back up their words or let security do all the work. Lately, it has been all their goons taking care of their problems. Black Youngsta has since been pretty quiet and away from social media. Guess since he put himself out there with the suspicion that he could have possibly been behind this, he's trying to take himself out of the light. Would you say that there is a chance Black Youngsta was behind the passing of Young Dolph? Black Youngsta and Yo Gotti are related to each other as it was. Yo Gotti, who helped the former rapper make a successful career in the industry. When Youngsta's 2015 song Heavy was released, it grabbed the attention of Yo Gotti. It became Youngsta's breakout project. Since then, these two rappers have worked on several projects together. They share a brotherly bond and a professional relationship as Youngsta is a member of Yo Gotti's collective music group, CMG, a music label. Youngsta founded his record label, Heavy Camp, under CMG in 2017, and the project is still intact today. Although the two are not blood-related, they exemplify true brothership as Youngsta had fired on Young Dolph in 2017. Yo Gotti and Young Dolph are notorious for their rivalry that later passed down to their associates in no time. Some would say this is similar to King Von and Lil Durk's relationship. 
Dirk and Vaughn were not blood related, but treated their relationship with the same aspect that they were brothers of the street. If Dirk was beefing with someone, that meant King Vaughn was beefing with that person as well. It's cool that their music relationship sprouted to more than just a contract, which we tend to see nowadays. It seems authorities are getting close to cracking this case, so in the next few days, we could see if Youngsta and his crew were behind this. That's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in for today's video and making it till the end. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, keyword, Rip Dolph, for a chance at winning our giveaway. See you next time on Lime Report.